pour my Red Bull into the coffee cup so I look more relatable. Because all the YouTubers always have a coffee cup. Oh, yeah. You didn't see that. Delicious coffee. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Carl Shakur. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a travel photographer and adventure enthusiast, and today I'm gonna to be talking about one of the most magical experiences that I've had on the road while I was traveling. And I was in Hong Kong about a week ago, and I had one of the most interesting and profound experiences I've had with an absolute stranger. It was such a profound experience that I figured I had to immortalize the experience and share it with as many people as possible because this is absolutely, probably the most craziest travel experience I've had hands down. I'm just not, I'm not gonna waste your time, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I, I was doing some research in some spots in Hong Kong and I found this uh, really, really cool vista point that I really wanted to catch at sunrise. We decided to hike up to this view, uh, but it was a very, very steep incline. In order to get to the vista point, you had to hike up this absolutely strenuous hill and we came up with a way of like avoiding this, this hike. We, we were gonna take a taxi up to the backside of the hill and then just hike down the hill rather than hike all the way up. So that way we could cut off a lot of time from our hike and make it to the top in time for sunrise. So what we ended up doing was we grabbed the taxi and as soon as we hopped down from the, from the taxi, we were immediately accosted by this elderly like Chinese lady saying, no photo, no photo. Initially I thought uh, she trying to stop us from taking photos or she's trying to stop us from doing this hike because I knew the hike was a little bit of a sketchy hike, but she seemed very, very, like she was on our side, not like an elderly telling us off, but like someone who wanted to sh tell us a secret. Uh, we couldn't really understand what she was saying because there was the language barrier between us, but she kept saying, no photo, no photo, no, not here, not here. Here? Huh? It's no good. Hey, no good, no good. No photo? No photo, no. Here's better? Huh? huh. Better? Huh. All right, okay. So we're going this way? I guess we're going with the lady. Okay. All right. Just like that on a whim, we just decided, we just decided to go with the lady and see my instinct began kicking. What did my mom say? My mom said, stranger danger. Don't fall, don't talk to strangers. If a stranger gives you food, don't, don't do this. Don't follow the stranger. But I had this little feeling in my heart that maybe that I was hopping into one of the best adventures of my life. So I decided to go against my better judgment and follow this lady and see where she wanted to lead us. So I figured, all right, we're just probably gonna go down this hill for like one more minute. There's probably a different trail that we have to take. Uh, we're definitely on we're definitely on track and we're probably gonna make it on top of this hill for sunrise. It's probably just a five minute walk up. Uh, because we've taken the taxi all the way to the top of this hill, there's no way she would run down. Plot twist. She ran all the way down the hill. I guess we're running. I guess we're running. Just immediately she starts booking it down the hill, just running, and we're like, uh, lady, this is this is supposed to be just like a one minute thing. Why are we running? Like 10 minutes have gone by. We're still running down this hill. What's up? We paid a taxi to come all the way to the top. Why are we still running? <laughs> so like, at this point, I'm like completely fed up. I'm not running anymore. We've been running for the past 15 minutes. I don't have, I'm a chunky boy. Look, look, I'm, I'm a chunky boy. So I, I'm tired of running. Lady, you gotta stop. Please stop, stop running. Well, lady, you don't run enough. No, 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 lady, you're not running no more. <laughs> You better, you better get your ass walking. You better stop. You better, you better stop. Don't, don't run. Don't. Keep in mind that we've been going in the negative direction, and we're all we're gonna have to hike up all this, all this way that we had just like we had just done. What, what are you doing? You better stop, stop running. So, so I'm telling her, lady, lady, stop. I'm not, I'm not running anymore. Like I'm not running, and she's just like. not paying attention to what we're saying because she has a mission. This lady is dialed in, she's focused, she's gotta get us to this spot. And before I know it, we get to a trailhead. Oh, here's a trail. Oh. Okay. Uh, huh? I paid to drive up a mountain so this lady could run her ass down the mountain <laughs> so we can hike up the mountain again. We were, we were supposed to avoid this whole hike. Why did we come all the way? to the bottom. In my hand, I have like four or five jackets. I'm shooting uh, like product photos for a company and I have like this these shirts and these jackets that I'm supposed to take photos of. I have a bag full of camera gear, drones and all types of camera gear in my backpack. All my stuff is heavy and I feel like I've been smart to bypass this whole, this whole hike. I didn't want to do this hike. I took a taxi to the top of the hill so I didn't have to do this hike. And like, for some reason, I'm just drawn. I just, I guess at this point, like I, I said, I said, I, we had we had made like this connection with this absolute stranger. I'm like, I really just want to follow this adventure and see where it leads because how frequently do you get to meet a complete stranger who like is so like 
vehemently like passionate about showing you their backyard. They want to show you how to do it. Make no mistake, this is not just this is not a this is not an easy hike. It's not just like a walk in a park. But honestly, the the the, the hike is taking its toll on us. We're so tired. We're weighing down. We're slow. And she keeps like looking back and like laughing at us, pointing at us, like, oh, these guys are slow. And just to prove a point, I like I so. hand her my backpack so she can feel how heavy, how heavy these weights are that are on her back. Keep laughing. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You think it's funny, huh? Uh, why don't you go and put that on, huh? <laughs> hey, so now it's not funny no more, is it? <laughs> and get this, this lady's like, no, 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 I got you. I'm finna take this backpack for you. I'm finna hike it up the hill. I'm like, no, that's not my point. Right now, she's like being more lenient about like, you know, taking a break and not just hiking up the hill because she knows we're carrying heavy weights. And I'm like trying to get to know her better, asking her a couple of questions. And I ask her how old she is. Now, take a second. This is her face now. If you had to guess how old she was, I want you to put it down in the comments below. Tell me. How old do you think this lady is? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the answer in a couple of minutes now, but humor me and just type down how old you think she is. She's 60. Get this. 60! She's 60 years old. And she's hiking up this hill faster than I am. She's like, she like, yeah, I'm 60, and she like flexes on us, like, oh, what's up? I'm 60. I'm like, what? What is today? Like, what is this experience with this absolute strong? <laughs> hey, how, how, how old? How old are you? How old? How old? 60, 50? Yeah, 60. 60. Sit. 60. 60. Yeah. 60. Yeah. 60. Yeah. You're 60. Look at the buns. <laughs> 60. You strong. Yeah, stay hot there. Yeah. <laughs> My fit. Yeah. Very, very fit. fit. Only a couple more huffs and puffs in. Before you know it, boom. We're at the top of this hill. I'm standing on the ledge, on like overlooking the whole city of Hong Kong and uh, with this absolute, like, complete stranger that I had just met, like, 45 minutes ago. I'm just taking it in. The views are, like, fantastic. And I'm, I'm blown away, not only by the beauty of Hong Kong, but, but by the beauty that I can see in this absolute stranger, this person who was so passionately, really wanted to share her backyard with me, just share, like, share her town. Like, he wanted to share the view with me. Like, granted, if I had taken the backside, I would have gotten there, like, a lot faster, but, like, for some reason, this view felt like even more special. It was, it was such a cool no, experience. Okay. I don't know. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So what, what's your name? What's your name? My, my name is Fong. Fong? 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 Fong or Fong? Fong. Fong. Fong? F-O-N-G. Fong. Fong. Mama phone. Just like that, the sunrise is over. We start making our way down the hill. We get to the hill and she's like, no, 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 I'm not done with you guys. You still need to follow me. I'm like, like this, this day is already so fantastic. We've already had such a magical experience. What more could you do? I think she's, at this point, she's inviting us to her home. She wants, she wants to show us where she stays. I'm like, like how, how, how much cooler could you, could you get? Like, chill. I just, want, I just want to remind you that we met this lady less than an hour ago. And now we're sitting inside her living room, drinking her juice, like standing in front of her TV, looking at her bed, like being in an intimate, like a very, very like family-like environment. Like honestly, like, is this how all people are in Hong Kong? Because if so, it's my, it's my favorite city, like hands down. So we sip the juice, we're like, okay, it's time for us to pack up. Thank you so much, Mama Fong, for being And she's like, nah, I'm not done with you guys. We're going for breakfast now. I'm like, what? Thank you. Thank you, Mama Fong. Imagine if this is an elaborate scam to like steal people's camera gear because we left our camera gear <laughs> in our house. Or what if she just like kidnaps us after this? And just like that, you know, the, like the most magical day that I've ever had in travel okay, is you. over. Oh, bye -bye. Uh, thank you, you know, so much. We go back up to our apartment, grab our backpacks. <laughs> thank you. You know, you. you know, give her a hug and like thank you so much for your kindness. Thank you so much. You know, <laughs> yeah, she follows uh, follows us all the way downstairs, like through the elevator, all the way up until like we get into our Uber, heading back to the hotel and wave to her complete stranger that I might never ever see again in my life. And I'm like, I just feel like, I just feel not only like physically like drained, but also like emotionally like satisfied and full to the brim. 
at like the kindness from a, another complete stranger. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Dude, that was one of the coolest experiences like, I've nice. ever had. Yeah. And that, that's, that's, that's the story of like this absolutely insane, like magical travel experiences I have. I've been to so many places in the world. So I've seen like being on top of mountains at like beautiful beaches and I, still have not yet to experience something and like an experience that is equally as magical and as like memorable as this one solo experience with this random lady from Hong Kong. We're all we're all the same in like some like weird way. Like not to be cheesy or anything, but like only if everyone could be as friendly and as heartwarming as this like little like Chinese lady, I feel like the world could be like a, a much more fantastic place. About to cry. <laughs> nah. Well, yeah, that's so that's that's what I wanted to share. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to Mama Fong. I know you're somewhere out there in the world, probably showing someone else on another hike. And thank you, thank you for you. I know you're watching. Thanks for thanks for watching and joining me on this little adventure. Uh, make sure to leave leave like leave a little like if you like the video and leave a comment. It supports the channel. Uh, also subscribe and ring the tiny little notification bell. That way. You're, you're aware, you know when next I like release another video. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah. yeah. The council stuff is... Oh, by the way, I'm currently videoing in my sister's apartment. Exactly, just a, <laughs> a bathroom. But the setup is like so janky. I have to show you guys the setup right now. So this is what it looks like. I have my computer on a box, <laughs> on a seat. My light strapped to the thing. I got my mic over there. And at the back, it's just a sink with lights in the back. My sister's, all my sisters don't, that's, that's her wig. All my sister's toiletries and stuff. Just put on the floor just so I could have a nice little clean environment for filming. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. The video's over. Why are you still here? You. Cheers to you. You still watching. Cheers. You, you watching this? Type in, this was loco moco in the comments so I know who watched till the end. still watching you're the guy you're the homie not like as tight as like mama phone but you're up there <laughs> all right peace see ya